The cost of cars, the benefit of taking a break, and the final notes for a popular music device. Here are five things to know before you go to bed. Americans are battling something other than inflation when they shop. Higher card swipe fees passed on to them from merchants. According to the National Retail Federation, merchants were charged nearly $138 billion in credit card swipe fees in 2021. That means the average American family is paying an extra $900 yearly on items because of those higher swiping fees. Used car prices dropped again in April, but at a much slower pace than March. The shortage of new cars and overall inflation has driven prices to record highs in recent months. But automakers are starting to see improvements in parts, supplies, and production. Wholesale prices paid by dealers fell an average of 1% from March to April, compared to 3.3% from February to March. It marks the fourth straight month of declines. Construction is underway to help the U.S. regain its foothold in the computer chip market. Samsung broke ground on a chip factory in Texas. The plant should help reignite investment in U.S. chip production as competition from Asia increases and supply remains low. A recent survey says taking breaks throughout your day helps to improve mental health. Researchers found nearly two out of five parents don't have the time to take breaks despite finding it beneficial, while three-fourths of participants said interacting with others helps them to have a healthy mental state. Nearly half of respondents mentioned exercise is a good way to maintain mental health. It's the end of an era. Apple says it will end production of the last iPod model, the iPod touch bringing an end to the iconic line the company says Apple customers will still be able to buy an iPod touch while supplies last and they can still listen to music on a host of other Apple products such as the iPhone iPad and Apple watch the iPod was first introduced in 2001 more than 100 million devices were sold within six years of its release there you go five things to know before you go to bed